Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the All Fit Automotive Lips along with vinyl striping. Now I recently went to the Canadian International Auto Show in Toronto and I saw a Nissan GTR Nismo and it really caught my eye. I've always had a thing for that car and I noticed around the new Nismo model of the GTR there is carbon fiber along with a red pinstripe along the entire bottom of the car. And if you ask me, it looks fantastic. And I thought, hey, why not do something similar to my car? So I've got an all fit lip and I have some pinstripe. And what I'm gonna be doing is installing this on my car. Let's get started with this kit. So right here I have all the colors of all fit automotive's products that they offer. So over here I've got the traditional lip, I've got the mid lip, and I've got the fat lip. Now you can choose whatever size or even color that you want on their website, ranging from the small one to the medium sized one to their large one. I'm going to be installing this size on my car and then installing a pinstripe down here on the bottom. Now just to let you guys know, before I get started on the car, I've got two giveaways so you guys have the chance of winning two sets of all these All Fit Automotive products. Stay tuned and I'll be talking to you guys about that giveaway after I install the lip on the car. Now let's get to it and install the lip on the car. If you guys have seen my videos, you know that I've showed you how to install the All Fit lips before. In case you haven't, I'm going to show you once more how to install them on your car. So the car first needs to be clean so the 3M tape can adhere to the bottom of the bumper. Give your car a car wash and then use some rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to remove any waxes or dirt still left on the bottom of the bumper. Then get your lip and start to peel back the red film to expose the 3M tape on the back of the lip. Put some pressure on the lip against the bumper to make it adhere. Now if you're in a cold environment, grab a heat gun and put some heat into both the bumper and the lip to make the 3M tape adhere better. If it's very cold out, the tape won't want to stick to the bumper. Work your way around the front of the bumper and keep applying pressure on the bottom. If your bumper has any complicated curves, make a V cut into the top part of the tape to allow the lip to conform better. If you want to see a better example of this, click on the annotation right here on your screen and it'll bring you right to my other video showing you how exactly to do this. Keep using the heat from the heat gun to make sure the lip sticks properly and work your way around to the other end of the bumper. Take your time and make sure it looks perfect because if once you've got it adhered to the bumper, you won't be able to readjust it so make sure that you're happy with how it looks. Once you're at the other end of the bumper, cut any excess lip that you have and go back over the lip and push it down to make sure that it's on there for good. Now the next part is to install the vinyl stripe along the bottom side of the lip. Now just like installing the lip, start at one end and work your way to the other side. Now when you're installing the vinyl, a heat gun will be your best friend in getting it to adhere to the all fit lip. It will adhere and stick nicely given that the lip is clean. Once you get to the other side of the bumper, cut any excess off and enjoy your Nismo Honda Accord. Alright guys, so I broke it down into two winners. So the first place winner of this giveaway is going to get this entire box. Now what I have in here is a traditional black all fit lip and it's the full one for the entire car. You also get a mid lip that's in black, which is the same length for the whole car. You get a red traditional bumper kit. So just the single, if you want to do the, say the front end, bumper, a side skirt or whatever. You get a t-shirt, you get, what does that say? Hardware, I can barely even read my own writing. You get the hardware for all this stuff, so you get the, the bolts and the nylon washers to screw this stuff into your bumpers and make this permanent. You also get some All Fit Automotive stickers and a lanyard. And finally, you're going to be getting a pinstripe that's long enough to do the entire car regardless of the kit you have. With all of that, you're not only going to be able to replicate what I did on my car, but you can also change the look and go from a small lip to the medium lip. For the second place winner, what you're going to get is the traditional black All Fit Automotive lip. So you're going to have enough to do one bumper or, if you want, you also get included a fat lip, the all fit fat lip in black and it's enough to do the entire car. So you can choose if you want to do that around your entire car or the smaller one for just up front. And you're also getting one of these. So you're going to have enough to do your entire vehicle and you're going to make your car Nismo. And just like the first kit, you're going to be getting some stickers and lanyards to show your support for all fit automotive. So if you guys want the chance to win one of these prizes, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go on my Facebook page and then on the link that gives you the link for this video, for the all fit video or how to Nismo your car, 
uh, you're gonna have to go down there and in the comments you're gonna have to make a meme. Now it can be whatever you want but it has to be a funny meme and you have to make it yourself. So the funniest two are basically gonna be winning first and second place for this prize. If you guys have any questions about the video, post your questions down in the comments down below and I'd be happy to help. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Now just for reference, tomorrow I'm going to be uploading the video on who won the Torque Wrench and Breaker Bar combo. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later.